Dunkawi Prehistoric Site is a small section of Bandelier National Monument. It contains a rough one and a half mile hike that lets you explore an ancient village left behind by indigenous Poblano people, including Cavets and Petroglyphs. The Dunkawi site is located on New Mexico State Highway 4, about 12 miles away from the main section of Bandelier. The trail starts on a relatively level section of land, just past a small lodge where you can purchase a parking pass. Beside the entrance to the trail is a warning reminding you that this area is a historic site and that you should avoid disturbing areas off of the trail or removing anything from the park. Even before you get onto the Pajarito Plateau where the main section of the trail is located, there are some impressive views of the mesas and flora in the area. Along the trail you'll find juniper, canone, rabbit brush, yucca, mountain mahogany, and more. Further along, the trail splits into a loop that takes you around the park. The trail goes clockwise, and along the way you'll meet the first of three ladders that take you on top of the mesa. Looking to the west from the top of the ladder, you'll be able to see Los Alamos and the Jemez Mountains. After climbing one more ladder and up some steep rocky terrain to the top of the mesa, you'll finally be able to see the remains of a Sankawi village. The village contained around 275 rooms and some multiple level buildings. Unfortunately, not much is visible today because the ruins haven't been excavated. What is visible are some amazing views of the mountains surrounding Sankawi. Once the trail reaches the edge of the mesa, you'll have to descend down another ladder and onto a small cliff on the edge of the mesa. Along here, you'll be able to enter several cavettes which were carved into the soft volcanic tuff by Poblanos for housing. After passing by the cavettes, you can find petroglyphs and a small boulder field. Some of these were carved by Spanish settlers who lived in the area, but most are from the ancient Poblano people. The carvings most likely serve both an artistic and spiritual purpose. If you look into the valley on the left of the trail, you'll be able to see what would have been agricultural fields when the Poblanos resided here. Corn, beans, and squash were likely all grown here. Soon you'll run into a very steep section of the trail, which leads downward to the original trail where you split off to begin the walk. It's not uncommon to see lizards basking in the sun on the rocks along this section of the trail. After the trails meet up, you'll be able to walk a short distance back down to the parking lot and Highway 4. At some point, either drought, loss of resources, or other factors force the people living here to abandon the site, most likely moving closer to the Rio Grande where many contemporary Poblano live today. The traditions of the people who lived here, including pottery, dance, and other activities, continue on in the local indigenous communities.